Hi, I'm Jeremy Moss and welcome to this month's Hashtag All The Feels. It's that argument as old as time and it all starts with one seemingly simple question, where do you want to go to eat? No matter if you are asking your spouse or your child or even yourself, it is sure to end in an argument or just sitting in the driveway for 30 minutes until you can figure out where to go. It seems so frustrating that we deal with this so often, but it all boils down to one emotion, uncertainty. Uncertainty is something that everyone has experienced and felt a time or two in their lives. And to let you know the truth, it will not be the last time you experience it. Uncertainty can creep in when we are trying to make simple decisions, such as dinner plans, but also it creeps in when we are trying to figure out life-changing decisions, such as where to go to college, which job offer to accept, where to live, who to marry, when to have kids, or even what to do after retirement. This month, we are studying Psalm 19, and discussing the emotion of uncertainty. Psalm 19 offers practical guidance on how to find God's direction, even when you do not hear Him speaking clearly. Uncertainty can sometimes lead us to feeling trapped in our decision-making or even be debilitating. We want so badly to do and go where God desires for us. But even in those seasons of uncertainty and trying to discern the Lord's voice, we can hold steadfast to the fact that He is always near to His children. We serve Emmanuel, God with us. He does not forsake us in our searching, but He is near and has given us many tools to guide us when hearing His voice has become difficult. 2 Timothy 3, 16-17 speaks of one of those tools. It says, all scripture is breathed out by God and profitable for teaching, for reproof, for correction, and for training in righteousness, that the man of God may be complete, equipped for every good work. When hearing God's voice has become difficult, we know that the first tool he has given us is his word. God's word is his heart written out to give guidance and direction to his children in the midst of their uncertainty and confusion. God's word is also his law, his statutes and commands, his ordinances and promises. His word gives us insight into who he is and who he has called us to be. When we rely on God's word in times of uncertainty and anxiety, we will start to see how the Bible forms the boundaries for our decision making. The Bible gives us clear parameters on where and what we are called to do as children of God, giving us certainty in the midst of our uncertainty. If we will allow the Bible to pierce our hearts in these moments of questioning, it will revive our souls, it will give us wisdom, bring us joy, and enlighten us. The Word of God is not the only tool that God has given us to hear Him and know Him in times of uncertainty. John 14, 16 through 17, it says, and I will ask the Father, and He will give you another Helper to be with you forever, even the Spirit of truth, whom the world cannot receive, because it neither sees Him nor knows Him. You know Him, for He dwells with you and will be in you. Jesus was gracious enough to send a Helper to us when He went back to be with His Father. The Helper is the Holy Spirit. He is always with us, dwells with us, and leads us by His holy conviction. When we struggle to interpret the Bible and see God's direction for our situation, we can lean on the gentle but powerful conviction of the Holy Spirit to guide us to the right path. The Holy Spirit's conviction helps us to sort through our motives and desires so we can make decisions with God-honoring integrity. Even in times of doubt and uncertainty, the Holy Spirit helps us to live a life of integrity that will bring alignment between our inner life and our outer life. A West African proverb says it this way, the one who tries to walk two roads will split his pants. When we try to live life with one foot on the world's path and one foot on God's path, our life will continue to be filled with uncertainty and confusion. However, 
when we submit ourselves to intently read God's Word and listen to the Holy Spirit's direction, we will be filled with hope and with a peace that lasts. All of us deal with uncertainty at times, and we may not always get it right. But when our lives are lived for His glory, we can have confidence knowing that He is powerful enough to always get us back on track. As your group dives into deeper discussion and study on Psalm 19, I encourage you to share with those in your group the decisions you are facing right now and glean from the godly wisdom of those He has placed around you. Mm-hmm.